Hi everyone, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and today I'm answering your homeschool questions. So this question is a really great one and one that I don't think I've ever gotten before written this way. So the question is, which is more useful, planning months in advance or planning days in advance? And I really love this question because I, I learned a long time ago and I think that I kind of experienced it to some extent that when you plan out, say, the entire year on a micro uh, basis, like say you plan out your entire year on a weekly or daily basis, that it's probably going to last about a week. And if you plan for a month out, that it's probably going to last about a week. Now, these aren't my words. I learned this from someone else. And I found that in a lot of ways, there was a lot of wisdom in that because when you're planning the daily months out, there doesn't leave a lot of room for changes. And if you do have a change early on in that planning, then it's going to disrupt the next day, the next day, the next day, and the next day. And uh, then you're kind of micro adjusting over and over. I find that planning like the big blocks months in advance is really helpful. Having a general idea of your whole year's goal is also really great. Kind of gives you some big anchors of what you're moving towards. And then things like say you have a workbook for math that you want to get through. Figuring out how many pages need to be done on a monthly basis depending on how many pages are in the book. That's kind of a little bit more of a intuitive approach and that can be a lot more easily adjusted because you know you want to get potentially you want to get to the end of the book by the end of the year so you sort of know how many pages you need to hit every month and if you're doing that on the daily and you're like well if I do this every day two pages a day I'll actually get done a month early that actually gives you a good amount of wiggle room in case there are times that you can't do the lessons for travel or your child is sick or you just didn't get to it that day that gives you a little bit of wiggle room so I love wiggle room when you're planning ahead especially for like the big blocks because that that will give you some flexibility in your approach and your schedule. So I like to plan the really big things months out, even years out. So for instance, for us following a Waldorf approach, I'm going to know in general the main lesson blocks that we're going to be doing pretty much every year for several years. And there's going to be some adjusting as well. And we might even not do an entire main lesson block. We'll make it smaller or in some cases, a lot of cases, we make it longer. Uh, but at least I have an idea in my mind of these big blocks that are going to go throughout the years. Now, the micro planning or even like monthly and weekly planning, that's going to be something that's a little bit more flexible. So for instance, recently I was going to do a lot of the ancient civilizations as very tiny main lesson blocks, just two weeks each. That was silly of me to think that I would get through a really big main lesson block in just two weeks. They ended up taking more like four weeks each. And so that really disrupted what my year long goals were going to be. So I'm recording this mid-year, so now that means I have to readjust how I want to approach uh, these lessons, and it might mean that I double up on other main lessons, so I'm actually doing two main lessons a day, which is not typical, so that I can take the time I need to do those history blocks, because that was a little bit unexpected. And then when you're getting down to the daily, because you're maybe, in my opinion, I would suggest planning a week out for the daily, it gives you enough flexibility to do those micro adjustments. If you didn't get to say all 10 of your math pages the week before, then you know that this week either you're, you're going to be doing 10 and you're going to be two days behind, or maybe you're going to add 12 this week and you're going to maybe spend a little bit more time in school, or maybe you're going to spend a little less time doing some of the other fun activities that you might include in your school so that you can get back on schedule. I think that there's a lot of acceptable and, and really great options and flexibility in this. I don't think there is definitely ever one rule that fits uh, everyone's uh, schedules and their, their goals. And so I think having a little bit of flexibility as you're moving through your school year and your planning is really important. And it, and it kind of gives you an opportunity not to be so stressed because you might get really stressed if you had made all these plans and you're maybe not hitting all of them because 
um, because things come up. I do think having a plan is really important though because it does give you that long-term goal to aim for. By long-term, I mean a yearly goal to aim for. And, and sometimes it might be a, a seasonal goal, a, a season of life goal as well so that you are hitting some of those really big milestones at some point in your child's homeschool journey. And if you, if you narrow them down to some of these really simple yet big and profound milestones, you might find that when you give yourself enough time to achieve them, let's say reading proficiently, you realize that that doesn't happen in first grade or second grade or third grade. Reading proficiently and really understanding well the content that you're reading might not really settle in until fourth, fifth, or sixth grade. And for some students, it could be even seventh or eighth grade. So when you have like these really big goals and you set them out far enough for your children to achieve them with a proficiency level that you are hoping for, a lot of times you can hit those those goals without having so much stress that you're not hitting them on a yearly basis. And of course, if your child has any kind of learning challenges or uh any kind of challenges academically at all, then please work with those and, and find the help that you need and, and appropriate your goals according to your child's abilities as well. All right, I hope that helps. If you have any questions, you can always leave them in the comment section below.